Welcome to today's vlog. Now I have decided to make a big investment. Boys toys, basically. Now there is a thing that they say of time is precious. And you may be thinking, well, Rob, your garden's not very big as it is, but I like gadgets, okay? So leave me alone. I have bought myself a robot lawn mower. It's a fly mow. So in today's video, we're gonna get sent up, see how it goes. Hopefully no disasters happen. Let's get it out of the box. So in the box, we've got some size guides. So basically, you need to run uh, a cable all the way around the outside so it knows where to go. So they've got a size guide there in the box. Let's get all this rubbish out. Get all the bits and pieces out. Uh, screws to put it in the ground? Bits, yeah, screws to put the base in. Sorry, Lena's trying to play with me at the same time so the camera's Extra wobbling. <laughs> all the cables there. Uh, that's a part of the base station, I think. Lots of pegs for the cables. And then... The actual beast itself. Oh, there we go. Oh, ouch. Don't touch that. That's really you sharp. Just touch the blade. Oh, yeah, loads of blades at the you bottom there. Yourself, no, you? no, I'll be okay. So that's that. And... The base. The base for the lawnmower to sit on when it's not in use. And that would fit in there somehow. So we found our first problem already. Now we've got the power lead, but we don't have an outside socket. So we're gonna have to put it through the window at the back uh, over there. Uh, and the cable literally goes from here. Two meters? To Charlie. So it's, it's probably about three meters. We need from the window to come down there uh, along the flower bed and we're probably going to put it in the corner down there. So I'm going to have to take a quick trip to B&Q and try and find a, an extension lead that has a kind of a housing so it's waterproof. got the cable now this is going to go through the window so not very practical it would be much easier if we had an outside socket socket but we don't and i can't be bothered to get one or do it one it works okay the water fountain that we haven't got running currently goes through here so it should be fine so let's get it down there i'm going to run this down the side here so at least it's not too obvious um, it's a bright yellow cable though, it's not that easy to hide. But I'll get it to go down there. There is a water fountain down there. You grab that side. I'll take this end. This massive bush that needs it's chopping up. Trim. Okay, that's down there. down there. You have got some nice flowers at least, I suppose. Yeah, my pots look nice, with the instruction booklet in the middle of them. Do that, and that can go I was there. Gonna say, I think we're just going to have to tack that to the pavement so no one trips on it. Right, that can go there. Uh, and then we can plug the bits in and we're going to put the base station here. It uh, should stay fairly shady over there as well, so it shouldn't get too hot. Yeah. Now, it's a shame if I, if I was really rich, I would have got one that doesn't need boundary wires, but they are so expensive. Uh, this one cost us uh, six, just over 600 pound. So not cheap, but it that, saves us cutting the grass. That 10 minutes of, of not having to cut the grass every, you know, every other day, or actually I wouldn't have ever cut it every other day, but you get my point. Um, and what it does, it cuts every day and it takes a little bit off. So yeah, boys toys and all that. Right, so we're gonna start doing the boundary wire, which needs to go all the way around. And then there's one down the middle, okay? Right, to start off with for the boundary wire, I need enough behind so I can then put it in. And I'm just gonna put this in peg it in so it stays. Now the only worry is our lawn is quite bumpy. Uh, so we've got to sort of try and keep it as flat as possible. We might have to put some topsoil down afterwards I to think so. uh, And we're just going to go around keeping a big distance so that the lawnmower can manoeuvre. That's your guide for the distance. Thank 30 you. centimetres. I folded it. You want right. 30 centimetres? It says on the guide 30 centimetres. While you're at B&Q I read the guide. So does it need to go like that? I would say so, yes. So Lots of pegging, so your arms going to be pegs. tired. <laughs> I know. I think I'll have to have a shower after this because it's quite warm here today. It's like 24 degrees today, which is nice. It is. Okay, so hopefully that'll be fine and then we'll just stay all the way. 
30 centimeters the whole way round. But I think over time, you won't see these, you won't see the wire. The grass should grow over the wire enough, shouldn't it, I think? Hopefully, or the soil will go, because by doing this, it takes off tiny little bits. And it's meant to actually be really good for the lawn because our grass and soil is so rubbish. It's so difficult to grow uh, from seed. So hopefully this will actually help. It's sort of a lazy man's guide, but hopefully it's a good thing at the same time. Uh, we will see. We're just having to maneuver around. We've got these random sort of stepping stone paving that slabs. That used to go to a washing line that we have uh, since removed. Now, if I have the cable going straight over it, it's sort of loose, even if I pull it tight. And it means the blade can get underneath, so, the, underneath the wire to the paving slab. Hopefully, if I go round it with extra pegs, it will do the job. I'm just going to put a load of these down. You're just putting all the pegs out so you don't have to carry the It's hard the peg work because you have to peg then move, peg, move. So if I just put loads of pegs down. You don't have to worry about carrying the bag around no. with you. Just sometimes it feels a bit loose. It's quite hard where our garden's so uneven, isn't it? To get it tight enough, I think. I'll just put extra pegs in. As I say, I don't think there's such thing as too many pegs with this. I think we just have to put a few extra pegs in. Well, with the amount of pegs it comes with, we should be fine. So we've come up to this bit and we've got to leave a little bit extra room and it's a bit of a surprise for next week's vlog as to why, but there will be something going there. So that'll be a little surprise for next week, but we've got to think about our lawn mat and it's a slightly further out than we would have normally done it. I thought I'd let Charlie do some of the work. You know, I'm working hard in this heat. Whew. She can do some manual labor. Is it easy going? What's that? It's so hard down that was here. That was her words, not mine, I would like to say. She said she was useless. I wouldn't say that. Now, some people may think this is cute, Lena playing with her ball, but she likes to play fetch. All day. All, oh. and when you're trying to do work in the garden or work anywhere, and this is what she's doing the whole time, it does get a little bit tedious because she'll start whining. Don't whine. There we go. <laughs> right, last one of the boundary wires done. Oh God. <laughs> the only problem is we need to go from that corner all the way diagonal, straight down the middle. I think you have to do that pegging. I am exhausted just from this run. <laughs> I don't really know why you need to do this, but what we've got, the boundary wire, and we've had to leave some loose in the corner. So I'm going to snip that. Okay, and then you need to push one into there, and then you'll crimp that in a second. You'll put the other one into that side, and then, There'll be a middle guide wire. Oh, I've already cut my knee. Our oh, ground's too oh. hard. Uh, and then you'll put the middle wire that will go along the mid. Lena, honestly. Uh, and you'll put that there. So we've got all three going into there. And then with my, these, I'm gonna come on all the way in, all the way in. Ugh. And hopefully they are squished in there creating a connection because this wire uh, it's got I suppose it'll have electric going all the way along and so the the lawnmower can pick up and that's how it knows where the boundary is it's not actually feeling the boundary it's there's wire in there that sort of gives off a signal so hopefully that's done and now we're going to go all the way diagonal back to the base station. So Charlie, I need your services, double team this. Uh, Charlie is sitting all the way over there with the base station to try and keep it tight because I want as much of a straight line as possible. Uh, and now it's just a case of pegging all the way along. I'm just a bit worried, as I said, about the fact that the grass it's so uneven, because that's what I'm worried about. It's so uneven. <laughs> when you're pegging, you realise how uneven it is. It's not the worry about um, the, the, the mower doing it, because it'll cope, and there's like a hole here that I need to deal with. But it's more of that it's not going to catch the cable. Um, but I think at the moment, we'll keep it at its highest point. 
So I think there's three settings, whether that's 10, uh, 10, 20, 30, whatever it is, mil, I think I will um, it keep the it- at highest until we're confident. With yeah, it. keep it at its highest because I don't really want to have to do this again. Um, no. Doing this is a bit of a faff. But I'm all right right now. I'm sat in the shade over here. It's lovely I suppose. Here. I suppose it's one of those things that after you've set it up, you just obviously leave it and get on with your life. You probably take for granted all of this bit of putting in. You forget about it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, so let me get on and do this. And You'll catch up with me in a sec. You're nearly here. You're halfway. Now, while you're here watching, uh, make sure do the usual YouTuber spiel. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe as well, because as I said, we've got some really cool things coming up. Something very exciting next week. Next week, as I said, something that's going over there. Uh, later on in the year, we've got our trip to, our second trip to Australia. Uh, we may have some more trips to Poland as well coming up. It may be a, my, my first ever solo one. So obviously, make sure you subscribe. And in the comments, have you ever thought about getting a robot lawnmower? And hopefully, after watching this, it may make you decide you want one. And last peg in. Now the last thing is literally to run the cable through the back, and then is to connect God, oh, that's a disaster. Uh, and then will be just to connect all of the cables. Now, this is quite a clever one, actually, because there's little clips and they just slot in. So it should be nice and easy. An absolute disaster. Uh, we've gone and plugged it all in. I'm trying to sync it. However, there's a blue flashing light on the base station, which means there's a break in the wire or something's wrong with the boundary wire. So we've tried faffing about and reading up and trying to change connections and it's not working. So it looks like we're gonna have to go all the way around again. <laughs> what a disaster. Right, come on, while we've still got light. Have a green light. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, you had a little panic, didn't you? We're okay. <laughs> well, I can't get it to connect on my phone, but Charlie has got it on her phone. Finally, it has found it. Mower is at rest, so I think I can press the start button now and it okay. will go. I'm going to try it from my phone. Okay. We have movement. I think I've managed to do it. It's, it's... going. Oh. Are the blades going to start cutting or what? No. Hang on. There's the boundary. Oh. Oh, that sounds like it's cutting. I hear noise. I think we've got it. Is it doing it? We've finally got it. Oh, where are you going, oh. mate? Oh, no. I think it's just getting right to the edge. <laughs> it's, um... I'm which not quite sure what it's doing. Which way's the front? I thought the front was this side, no, but I'm must, not this, sure. this way must be the front. Is it cutting? I don't know. Well, we finally got it properly working now. I lowered the, the razor blade slightly lower, uh, but it is cutting. 
It is working. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. Oh. Waffle is very intrigued <laughs> <laughs> and spooked at the same, same time. Lena couldn't care less. Well, with this success that's taken us about three hours, we might as well have some music and a bit of montage. an absolute treat it's, it's funny so good. it is it's so funny to see the dogs though not paying attention like lena's not paying attention to it and all of a sudden it kind of bumps into her uh waffle who's staying with us for the night she is so intrigued but gets easily spooked right are you gonna send it home i'm gonna see if i can park it okay park it's not it here anyway it's Flo. i've named her Flo, apparently okay hold on we're just reconnecting sorry about this Right, parking. Parking. Okay, so it's down over here. Okay, so Moa's going home. So it's. I want to think what it's going to do is find the guide wire, and then the guide will take it all the way home. Has it found the guide wire? It has. There you go. This is clever stuff. And hopefully, home it goes. The the cutting stopped. It's quite slow on the way home. It is it? slow it's and steady on home. the way home. Almost back on the it's dock. Close. Go, go, do go. It? Go on. All the way up. Get yourself back on charge. Can and I do it? Oh, oh close. Realigning. And then you go. It's done. Oh my God. Success. It works. Well, we finally had a success. I never, I never thought it was going to work. No, uh, but did I. that will save us lots and lots of time. Sort of, uh, but it's a really good bit of kit and actually I can see them being used for so many different people. Elderly people, mm -hmm. people that work and, and have a lot going on. It, overall, it will save time. And as I said, the main thing is, it is meant to help the soil, help the, the garden in general because it's taking those fine clippings off and the nutrients are going back and into the And it'd be really good with the dogs. Having grass short all the time would be really, really good. We have so to, helpful. the only problem is... We have to be on top of the poop. We do have to be... Um, yeah, or oh, you can just see it as fertilizer. You could see it as I nice fertilizer. I don't want cleaning flow. Well, I hope you enjoyed our efforts. Uh, next week is gonna be a good one, so make sure you stick around for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Press that alert button as well, uh, and that'll, that'll let you know when we post our vlogs. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, subscribe. Did I just say that? Yeah, you said okay. it twice, but make yeah. sure you do. You get the idea. Well, we'll catch you next time. Bye.